This morning, new comments raising more questions around Chinese tennis star Peng Shuai, who reemerged this weekend at a ski event in Shanghai with basketball star Yao Ming and other athletes. In a video posted by a Singaporean newspaper, Peng purportedly reverses her accusation, telling a reporter there during an impromptu interview where it's unclear how freely she can speak, I have never said or written about anyone sexually assaulting me, adding there may have been a lot of misunderstandings about an affair with Zhang Gao Li, a former Communist Party official that included an encounter where she says she, quote, never consented and was, quote, crying all the time. The purported video interview that cannot be verified by NBC News is the first time Peng has spoken about the explosive scandal that triggered international outcry, including calls to boycott Beijing's Olympics and an outpouring of concern from across the tennis world. That Peng appears to reverse her assertion, only stoking skepticism that the former world number one doubles champion is facing pressure here to make the scandal go away. This is a story with the Olympics around the corner that, that kind of ticks a lot of boxes in terms of, in terms of global headlines um, and sensitivities. Pang apparently told the newspaper, I've been very free all along, yet she wasn't asked about her relationship with Zhang, the assault allegation, or disappearing for weeks from public view. The Women's Tennis Association holding firm to its demand for a full, fair and transparent investigation without censorship into her allegation of sexual assault, stirring fresh criticism of China and persisting concern for Peng Shui. The Women's Tennis Association is suspending all tournaments in mainland China and Hong Kong. That's a lucrative business for the WTA here to confront Chinese authorities over Peng Shui. Now, Chinese officials have yet to directly acknowledge her accusation or any of the tensions that have swirled around it, making an investigation unlikely to. Craig? Janice Mackey for Air Force there in Beijing. Janice, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.